Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Cutting Hair with Chacha. Still here at the Matrix Technical Center in Sydney and I have a really exciting haircut to share with you today. Sometimes people say simplicity is basic and it's somewhat boring. I reckon simplicity can be actually very beautiful and that's what I'm gonna demonstrate on today. Beautiful, clean, one length haircut on um, lightened hair. Without further ado, I'm gonna get Zenia in here and we're gonna get going. Let's do it. We have a saying for that uh, in Italy. Yeah, RSI, yeah, still guts. Forget about it. Still guts. Jimmy, whose side are you on, bro? <laughs> I mean, you're walking back to Canberra. I'm gonna do you a blooper cut, mate. How about that? I'll be going to Canberra on Sunday. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Just make sure Philip, you put him in, put him in the boot. back. Yeah. Put him in the boot, mate. <laughs> Thank you.
turn to the head to the back of the room. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Just look to your right, please. Turn your head to the right. Other right. absolutely perfect and what we've done to maintain the cleanness and the brightness of the blonde is using brass off uh, in between salon visits so Ma matrix make a great shampoo conditioner and blonde sort of guess you could call like care range uh, called brass off sorry so silver 
Um, we use brass soft for when the hair's darker and it's looking a bit brassy, but specifically for blondes like this, we're going to be using so silver. I like to use setter mousse, again, like a, a wax or like to control the hair. So I'm gonna put this in underneath. We're just gonna really have fun with it. And then always around the hairline, you find that around the hairline, just head back for me, gorgeous. Around the hairline, you get this one or two little hairs that is just annoying. And what this does is it just like sort of seals and gathers the hair around the hairline, including underneath in the nape, underneath and in the nape. And then we can just like push it forward and just let it fall how it wants to be. If we want it off the face, we can pull it back. If we want something that's a little bit more framed and shaped, we can. Fix the hairspray. And then just on the inside here, because we want this just to be a little bit framing right near where her cheek is. Spin you around so you can see the back. I wanted to like make it fun and playful. Like you can style hair. And one of the things I think hairdressers overlook is we're called hairdressers. We forget about the dressing of the hair at the end of the salon visit. And I think sometimes we just do a blow dry and we're happy and, and that'll do. But um, you know, once we put a little bit of shape in there, we can blow it out a little bit. I can grab my brush. You can put your hands in it. You can go and sweep it further to one side if we want to really bring that cowlick out. We can go back towards the middle and have it more like curtain bang slash like layering in the front. So we could do this. We can have this sort of shape going on in here. Um, those particular types of techniques that I use for shaping around the face are very versatile. So you could even probably go close to the center even if you blow dried it there and pull that in. And then we can actually have like, almost like curtain bangs around the front. I actually am um, gonna get Xenia to run her hands through her hair. You've got the mirror in front. I want you to just mess your hair up, put it into place and see how it looks. Brilliant. Thanks once again for tuning in guys. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit the like button if you like it. And if you think you know someone who may want their hair cut like this or a young hairdresser who may get some uh, tips or tricks from me, uh, make sure you share with them. It's when we share, we grow. Um, and once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.